Welcome back. Why does the lighting look weird? Because it's gloomy again. Today's the full moon. Tell them about our full moon theory. I don't think so. No, they're gonna think we're freaking crazy. Well, we think that Abby's gonna give birth soon because it's on the full moon. moon. But to be fair, Julia's mom was a labor and delivery nurse for mm -hmm. years, and she said that the full moon was packed in labor mm -hmm. and delivery. Yeah. And our midwife said that that the three days before and the yeah. three days after is when she's super busy. And she texted us right before our appointment yesterday and said she was catching a baby. So clearly, right. the full moon's got some juju going juju. around. Juju. Also, she said, well, so usually at the end of each appointment, we schedule yes. the next week's appointment because she meets with her every week now. Week. But she said that she is not really worth it to schedule another appointment because she's so sure that Abby's going to go into labor next week. I just week. like call her if I go past Tuesday, right. but she, it's basically like she doesn't think I'm going to go past Tuesday. Yeah. This is my almost 41 week. There it is. It's very big. Very big. Very pregnant. Very pregnant. Mm -hmm. But today we wanted to show you guys like everything that we bought for him. We haven't really done like a baby like stuff haul. Um, and some of you have been commenting, asking about it. So we're gonna do that today. First, we need to finish our cake. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Guys. So we're reading something about how it's kind of fun to like make, bake a cake when the baby's born because it's his zero birthday cake, you know? So we were like, maybe his birthday cake can be our tiramisu. But we got to finish it because it's been refrigerating overnight. Abby thinks it looks weird. I just feel like it doesn't look right, but. We've never made it before. I don't know, we'll see, I guess. First things first, whipping cream. I think we just beat it, and then we can put the cocoa powder on top. Also, we already have so many favorite baby products, you guys. It's literally insane. Like, we don't even have the baby yet, and some of the products we like already use. It's kind of crazy. I also need to find the cocoa powder in this huge mess of baking stuff. Do we even have cocoa powder? Don't say it. Hold on, I gotta get up. All right, get up there. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Is this sexy to you, me getting on the counter? Yeah. Oh my gosh, don't break the microwave, please. Oh, here you go. Oh, good. Woohoo! Thank you. You're wondering what Frank is doing. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Sitting on the pillow. What he does in all the videos. Dolly! I don't know where Dolly is actually. I don't know if you guys saw in my Instagram story, but I posted that we were doing cactus surgery. One of our cactuses that you saw in our last vlog got like root rot, so we had to like cut the bottom off it. Now it's getting like calloused, and then we put it in dirt. I'm gonna put a, a like root growth hormone on the bottom just to make sure that the roots do grow, and then we're gonna put it in like this like really sandy cactusy soil. Oh, okay. Then it will... Well, hopefully we can get this to stay alive because this was one of our first cactus cactuses, cacti. I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. Oh. Dolly decided to show up and join the fam. I'm not gonna do a great job. I'm just gonna preface it by saying this. I'm not very good at typing. That's okay. This is a bad, this like this one. So like just next to each other, like oh, okay. that, I guess. <laughs> great. It's not bad. It's not bad, but like there are a couple that are a little off. It's fine. But... I get to do the cocoa powder since you did the whipped cream. Okay, that sounds good to me. Oh my gosh. Now does it look like tiramisu? Yeah, <laughs> I think. I wanna eat it right now, but it's only 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back in the fridge so it can stay chilled. Yeah. What do you think of that? I think that that sounds like Maybe a lovely thing. we could have it for a dinner dessert. Yeah. Well, our cake sits in the fridge. I figured we would go through and show you all of our favorite little baby products. I'm so excited. If you're like a first time mom, everybody keeps asking like what products we got. We obviously don't know if they're gonna be like great and amazing yet because we don't have a baby. We wanna be better about leaving links for you guys because you guys keep asking where we get stuff. <laughs> Yes, I'm pregnant and out of breath. So if anything that you guys want in this video, we'll probably have it in the description below. And we're gonna try and do it for all future videos yes. too. So if you have a question, I promise I'll try and link it in the description for you guys. <laughs> My top favorite baby item that we got that I use now is the hatch like sound machine. We do like, it's like scheduled, it's like rain and then it'll start like birds chirping in the morning and then it's like a certain like light. We love it. Do you love the hatch? Yes, this is it. <laughs> We have it in our room. Oh, I was gonna pull up a picture because oh. I didn't know if you'd grab it. Oh yeah. We have it in our room. Um, and it the reason that we bought this over a different like sound machine is because you can set like schedules for yeah. it. 
Um, and then you can use it when they're a toddler, like tell them like it's mm -hmm. time to wake up when the light's green or something. Right. Now I sleep so much better. This is not sponsored. I don't know why I'm going off about the sound machine, but it's you I do. sleep way better. I, I record us sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> just in case we sleep talk or I, I don't film us. I just record us. Um, like I have an app, so whenever we make noises, it just records sound. She used to move around so much in the night. She would mm -hmm. be like thrashing throughout the night, and now she's just sleeps like so peaceful. She sleeps like a little angel. Anyway, this was what I was most excited for. I feel like I've talked about this in a video. I totally forgot to get covers for it though So we actually should probably go and order covers today oh, yeah. But it's the snuggle me so like if we're in the shower you can put this down or it like makes them feel like they're being hugged I think and then we also got the breastfeeding pillow. So yeah. We're both gonna be breastfeeding So I feel like we're gonna need mm -hmm. this a lot. We also got the outlet kind of pricey But I feel like it's worth it as like yeah. I'm really nervous. I don't even have the baby yet, but I'm like nervous <laughs> Oh, it's playing that. It's playing yeah, me through the stuff. baby monitor. I got the one, it's a baby monitor too. So yeah. you can see it's just showing the crib from this upward angle. Right. So at any point we can look at, or listen to him or anything like that. Yeah. While yeah. we also know his heart rate and oxygen levels. Yes. So. so if you're nervous about like SIDS or anything, 10 out of 10. I'm most excited about, Julia doesn't like these, I don't know why, but the little baby wraps right here, I oh, am yeah. so excited to baby wear. I don't know why. I just think it's gonna be like so fun and I see like pictures of moms like they can breastfeed while wearing them and then also be like doing the dishes and I feel like that'll be really helpful. I really like the Solly Baby like stretchy material and then I have one from, I think it's called like Hope and Plum. It's like one of the like sling ones. The Solly Baby ones seem like they're gonna be yeah, Best, they seem really, really good. We did not buy a changing table. Oh yeah, no, I was like... <sighs> um, that's the one thing that I feel like we might regret. Yeah, well technically our dresser could be a changing table, right. but we're kind of short. And I think it's because it's we're short, it's like here. too tall, yeah. yeah. But I think it's meant to be a changing table, but both of us are only like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, so it's oh, like yeah. kind of too tall for us. Figured we would probably be in our bedroom anyway, so if we end up needing it, we're gonna buy a changing pad to put on here and maybe yeah. a new dresser. But because the other thing is we wouldn't be able to have our cute little lamp. And yeah, and like we need the key there. stuff. And he's not gonna be in his nursery for like six months, right. so. But what we did buy, since we didn't buy that, is a changing, changing pad. pad. <laughs> it's supposed to be like portable and stuff. It's like really nice, it like vegan leather. Um, so we figure like if we're changing him, we don't want to put him down on like the carpet or something. We just have yeah. this around so we can always easily roll it out and mm -hmm. then change him. So yeah. What the heck? What? Frank! What? That's not for you. Frankie! I oh knew my gosh. We have tried not I to I knew have that it was down. going to happen. Yeah. Not yours, Frank. I feel so bad because it's like he it it looks like a dog bed and like I don't want to get mad at him. But and he's been so used to being yeah. the baby boy all this time. We went with a cheap diaper bag because yeah. we just figured both of us are gonna use it and so I didn't want to buy like a pink one or something that Julia wasn't gonna use. So we just yeah. got that. We one. wanted one that was just pretty like neutral. You can have it with any outfit and it yeah. can fit lots of stuff in it. This one we liked because it has like little compartments, so it would be easy to like store other things in it. We also got the Mamaru, if you don't know what Can that is. Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to pull it out of the closet. It's like a baby bouncer. It like has different settings and like I think it vibrates and makes music. Yeah, so it can make like white noise yeah. or like lullaby songs. Or Just plug it in. Stuff like that. And it can vibrate, it can like rock in like all kinds yeah. of different ways. I'm really excited about that. I have a lot of friends that use the Mamaru, so well, I have a lot of friends who use the Mamaru, so I'm really, really excited about that. And We're like really Baby H it. does not move around if I'm up moving uh -huh. around. The moment I sit down is when he gets crazy, so I think yeah. he'll like motion. I think so too. We can really tell just yeah. from where he's at right now. Yeah. I feel like of all the things we bought, that's the one thing that so many people, that and the hatch actually, yeah. that so many people are like, you have to buy it. So I'm, I think I'm excited to try it. I don't know. Those are our favorites. I don't know. Like when we like have the baby, we should do an updated one of things that we used and yeah. didn't use. Yeah. Because I, some of these things we might be like, we love this and then be like, we didn't use it at never all. never used it. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. If you're a parent, let us know what your favorite item is. But if you want to check any of these out, We'll leave the links in the description, but the hatch, get yourself one, even if you don't have a baby. <laughs> also, I forgot that I've been getting a lot of messages about where we got our bassinet on Instagram since we didn't go with the snoo. So I will leave that linked below if I can find this color. I think they have a white color and a cream color. We went with the cream color, but I can't wait till he's in here. I know. Hello, baby boy. I always, sometimes I just like stare at it and I, I know, just right? like, visualize there's gonna be baby a baby in here. in here okay i just bought the snuggle me covers i bought two that way like it maybe if he like spits up on one we can swap it for the other while it's in the 
wash. And then I, I forgot to show you guys this little bunny rabbit. Isn't this so cute? I feel like that was one of the first things we bought. It is one of the first things we bought. Yeah, yeah honestly, I think, did we buy it before the crib even? We may yeah, have. Yeah, I think we did. We just got really excited when we found out she was pregnant. So we went to a baby store nearby and just bought this for some reason. What you doing? Trying to get him to turn the right way. <laughs> You're supposed to do this every day before birth. Yeah. Dean's concerned. Dean, it's okay. It's time for our tiramisu. How do you say it? Tiramisu? Tiramisu? Abby doesn't want to eat it. What? Well, no, it's not that I don't want to eat it. I'm just like, what if baby H is born tonight and then we can have a birthday cake mm -hmm. for him? That would be fun. We can. still can, but she wants it to be the first, the cut, first cut when he's here. But we he might just have to make another one tonight. That's promising. Here you go. <gasps> Oh, I missed a layer, dang it. It's just hard to get the first one out, you know? Okay, well, hopefully this doesn't fall off the plate. <laughs> so here's, uh, it doesn't actually look that good. Mm. See, I told you, it doesn't really look like tiramisu. Well, this is Can where- Can I try it? Yeah, go on. What does it taste like? Is it okay? Like, it's good, but like, I don't think it tastes like tiramisu very much. Well, what did we do wrong? What I was gonna say is this, like how it's uneven, it's because we put them in uneven. Now I'm thinking about it. Remember oh, some yeah. of them we turned upwards? I don't know why we did that. Mm. All right, time for me to try. To be honest with you, I don't know what tiramisu tastes like. I like the little lady finger. You're a little lady finger. Yeah, you know, I just ate my entire thing of tiramisu and then I ate Abby's after that. <laughs> and after I've eaten all that, I think I've decided I don't like it. We just watched a birth vlog um, on YouTube and it was really, really good. It was maybe, amazing. Did you, maybe we could save it so we could link it below, but um, I, I, I don't know her. Abby likes to just search home birth vlog every day Emma and see if there's anything new. Emma Donaldson. Emma Donaldson. Okay, Emma Donaldson. This is her second Go watch it. Week, but she was very calm. It was really great, and we're, we were just talking about how we really hope that um, that it ends up like that. Because it was just, she, you, I had no idea the baby was coming out, and then all of a sudden the baby was there because everyone was so calm in the room. And it's just nice because I just prefer that so much. I hate it when people are in hospitals and all the nurses are yelling, push, 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 push. It's like, how is that like conducive to like a happy birthing environment? That's one reason Our that- Our bodies know what to do. Like, like obviously you just say, okay, push. You don't have to be screaming push in the mom's ear. I, I think that ours would be more like that because our midwife- I was right telling now. her like, watch, like I'm gonna be like swearing and it's gonna be like the craziest birth <laughs> Maybe you will, I don't know. You've never done it before, but I just don't think that you will for some reason. We'll see though. One thing is she was, at the very beginning, she was like saying that she only has like mild little cramps and she, they're like barely noticeable, but she like knew she was in labor somehow. And we're like, okay, if that's the case, Abby's been in labor for like a week. <laughs> like, yeah. So, cause she, she like, she just said, I'm having a cramp right now as she's sitting on the ball. So it's like, she has them constantly. They just don't have any pattern. They just don't get consistent either. Like yeah. the next day. If I sit down or take like a hot bath, they go mm -hmm. away. So that's why we know that they're braxtinics and not labor. I guess I don't know, but I mean, um, I mean, you would have had the baby by now if you were in labor a week ago. You can't have, you can't be in labor for a week straight. Like. Our midwife also said that she thinks that Abby's birth is going to go quickly because she's having so many um, like contractions before. It's and just helping so her uterus to get there. Her camera's about to die. Uh oh, we better wrap this up. Um, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Let us know what you guys thought about all of our baby stuff. If you guys think we're idiots for buying the stuff yes. that we thought, please let us know in the comments below. For today's the post notification shout out goes to Tiny Cute Frog. That's a cute we name. love you. We love you. If the rest of you would also like a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is leave a comment. Or wait, for turn on your post notifications, then leave a comment letting us know you did it and you might be in our next video. You never know. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Bye, Bye guys. guys.